Welcome to Road Road Restore. I'm John. How are you doing? So in this video we will be reinstalling all the gears uh, we will be putting everything else in the bottom of the engine that we need to and we will be putting the bottom lid back on and then we'll be running through all the torque wrench settings so without further ado let's do it right then so next we'll be fitting the gearbox but first I'm just going to give everything a bit of oil give everything a bit of a spin to get it lubricated I will have to wipe all this off because I've got to put the gasket glue on there not the gasket glue, the jointing compound so anyway let's get on with the gears ok so we're going to put these gears in first at the top uh, don't forget your solid dowel for the locating of the bearing put that into the little hole just there like so we can pick up our heavy gears noting where the uh, locating hole is on the bearing try and roughly guess where that is your gears into place, move your oil chain out of the way and then if we spin this beer in we should be able to locate where it fits into the uh, you might need to put a bit of pressure on the back so if we twist that round should slot into the hole. There we go. So that is definitely seated. Let's give everything a bit of an oil. Okay, so we can put the next shaft of gears in, but again, don't forget your locating dowel for the bearing. And this one has the old and the lows, oil holes, oil ways. This one goes in to there. Like so. Okay, these gears on this shaft are a bit more tricky because like the other one you have to locate that hole into the dowel. But on this bearing you can see just there there's a little spike hopefully you can see it and that little spike has to line up with that little notch there hopefully you can see the little notch in the crankcase so that little spike has to line up with that so if we turn that bearing to the bottom get that spike to the side try and line everything up we've got to try and rotate this bearing because it's definitely not located just keep twisting it till it goes into the locating point There we go, I think that's definitely dropped in. Okay, so hopefully we can see the little locating pin there. Just try and tap that round into place. Yeah. 
Yeah, that should do. So now I'm just going to drop my crankcase on as a dry run to make sure everything's seating properly. Because if you don't get these dowels located properly on these bearings or this pin located properly then it's impossible to get this crankcase to seal properly. Make sure everything's turning nice and free. Noting the position of these selector forks I do find it's best to try and keep those lifted like that and that one like that and on the gears locate there on there so try and keep these two together and that middle one goes in there and try and keep that in line with that so it's like that and I find that's the easiest way for it to slot on Turn this over like that, try and guide these forks into place, not quite right. That one just wants to go over a touch. Try again. They're all nicely lined up. And that's it. Just try and make sure everything's seated up nicely. Check it all the way around. There's no nasty gaps in the crankcase. It's usually down there where you get a gap, but this is perfect. So we can take this off again, put the dowels in, put the uh, jointing compound on it and uh, drop it on for real. Okay, little things to note before we put our uh, sealing compound onto the mating surfaces of the crankcases. Uh, this is the balancer shaft. Uh, as you can see there's a alignment mark there and you're probably not going to see it on the camera but just there there is a very small nick an alignment mark so make sure that mark is lined up with that mark when you put the crankcase on and make sure that the timing mark just there is aligned up with the T mark on there which is top dead center is about there and make sure that stays in that position and make sure that stays in that position and then So we can put the new seal on, put a bit of oil on it, just plonk it on the top there, like I, make, like I say make sure the old oil seal is not still stuck in the other side of the crankcase, or you'll have two in there. So now we can put all our sealing compound around the uh, crankcases and then we can put our locating dowels in position. Firstly, before I do that, I've got to take out these worn shells and replace them for the other ones. And finally, that one. Yeah, we're going to give all these bits a dub of oil. Then we can uh, put a coat of our 
sealant all the way around both crankcases. to say in the manual not to go too close to where the bearings are going to sit and the same on the other crankcase there we go then we can insert our free alignment dowels one over there what over there and one down there then we could try and locate the uh, selector forks middle one's not quite right all lined up and you can check that everything's lining up okay yep it's all good that's all good all good all good All good. Yep, so we all seem to be nicely lined up. Okay, so we've got eight bolts here. Two are longer than the other six. And they're all located across the top here. And these ones are lower. And these two are higher. So the two longer bolts go in there. Don't forget the copper washers. Okay, then we have four rustier bolts, smaller, so they will go on the outside of the case in there and over there. But first I'm going to clean them up. Okay, so I've worked all the bolts out, got all the bolts located into their proper places their proper washers and first we have to start tightening these crank ones down to the proper torqued wrench settings but first I'm just going to wind them in with the speed brace Now all those are snugged up. Just make sure that the engine is still rotating freely. Yes, that is perfectly free. Thank God for that. I'm well happy with that. Okay, next, torque wrench settings. So that's all those buttoned up. Now let's move on to the next ones. Okay, so all the other 8mm bolts. There's a load down the front here. Or 27 Newton meters.
Okay, so there's everything buttoned up. Everything turned in nice and free. Now what we want to do next is put the oil pump in there. Okay, so next we'll be fitting the oil pump. But first, this little hole here. rubber o-ring like so and we have to carefully fit a locating dowel Be careful not to drop it down the engine now if we drop it inside the engine now it would be a disaster drop that into there and we can drop a bit of oil around the o-ring So, then there should be a location dowel in there, and a location dowel in there, and that one should be clear. So we just slot that into position. Like so. And there should be three locating bolts and the shortest one goes to the right and there but first we have to add a drop of Loctite Fredlock Loctite in the final one at the back we can screw them all the way on with the socket like so and then they should be tightened up to nine Newton meters no then they should be tightened up to nine foot pounds Okay, then we have to insert our sprocket. Don't know if you can see that, but it says out. So that goes on the outside. So let's try and get our chain. Make sure it's on the crankshaft sprocket. And then try and get it onto this sprocket. Like so. And then try to line it up. Line the shaft up. There we are, like so. I would recommend putting a bit of rag down there. Just in case. Because now we have to fit this little bolt to the sprocket. And it is requiring thread lock. And it is a bit fiddly to get down to there. when you've got sausage fingers there we go screw it all the way home loosely that is also I think that one is 10 newton meters, but I ain't going to get my uh, torque wrench in there. So I'm going to use a little 10 mil spanner and just go for good and tight. That sounds like German, good and tight. be fine then as always just put your spanner on make sure everything's turning 
for effect. I've got to set this balancing gear up because I need to set it all up when I was putting the crankcases on but I was concentrating that much on setting everything else up I forgot about this OK the engine is upside down but we are set to top dead centre there and OK as you can probably see there is our locating mark and our alignment mark is down there somewhere so it is way out so we've got to bring this in line with the alignment mark. So I'm going to go and read the book and I'm going to read it again and then I'm going to read it again. And if your shaft was seized up like mine was, it's going to be a bloody nightmare. So that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it's of some use to you. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Stay well, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. Oh yes, if I don't see you in the next one. I'll see you in another life, brother.